then when we slide the bookcase to enclose for privacy the owner's suite, there's an additional door to this walk-in closet area. And if we close that as well, then it reveals a really full-size mirror, which is perfect for getting ready for a night out. So yeah, really, really nice features hidden in here. And the boat has been equipped. It's a really well-optioned, well-equipped 51. It's been optioned with the comfort trim package as well as Grand Comfort upholstery in both the salons area. So you get a much thicker cushion for one, but then a lot of really nice details such as the leather trim that we wouldn't see otherwise. All of the nice leather trim details. Coming here to your nav station, you've got all kinds of great equipment on the boat. It does have Doppler radar, um, but it also has these two backup cameras, one on each corner of the aft section of the boat, both to port and starboard. It's um, mounted, actually I'll show, show you where they're mounted, on each of the corners of the flybridge. So it's just showing you where you might otherwise have a blind spot from the helm. And so that's nice. It certainly enables a couple to go double-handed sailing and not have the need to take a, a bunch of crew for that. Okay, and now we'll go down to the guest cabin into the porthole. Here in the aft, you have the VIP guest suite, another really large Queen Island berth, perfect for a couple. You have access points on either sides. Um, again, with the comfort trim, you can see that you get these really, really, really nice details. The leather inlay here, and this is all pretty modular, so you can move this into different sections if you want. I always thought that was cool. Here as well, all of the insides have been finished in leather. It's really pretty. And then on the sides of the bed where the courtesy and reading lights are located, that also has a leather panel. Okay, so that was the guest, VIP guest cabin, and it does come with an ensuite, really large ensuite and shower. Electric freshwater heads. And then you have this midship cabin where in the owner's suite, this was that walk-in closet area with all the little storage compartments. In here you have a rather large midship cabin. Um, bunk bed would be good for crew or for kids. Um, another VIP guest suite that has another ensuite, but this one does have Jack and Jill doors because it will share the head with the midship cabin. And yeah, the cabin's a little bit smaller than the true VIP guest suite just behind me. Again, with the comfort trim package, you get all the really nice leather inlay details. Good size hanging locker, the storage racks and shelves. So that's the guest cabins. Let's go up to the flybridge. Okay, so here we are in the flybridge. Really large space. This boat's been fully optioned, as I was saying. It has all of the electric winches, even electric traveler for the main sheet really nice station up here as well and then you have the option to access those rear view cameras from the upper helm docking station bell thruster controls throttle electric windlass and chain counter optional sun lounges for up here. 
Dolce 51 upholstery. And then these are both very modular. They can be repositioned so that the helm can then join this section as can the co-pilot seat. And then the boat has been optioned with a lot of solar as well. So it's all of these flexible solar panels that you can walk on. Back here you have a little built-in ladder to climb up there. And um, the very top's also been finished in non-skid where there's not solar. Forward, we have the optional sun lounge here as well in Dolce 51. And in the very, very, very front, we have the two four peak cabins. So, storage and batteries, almost certainly for the bow thruster. And then you have a little berth for a skipper and a ladder to climb in and out. That's on the port side. Then if we go over to the starboard four peak, I can show you the skipper head. And this would be better for wet fenders, things like that. Very, very deep cabinet, uh, cabin also with another ladder. Generator on this boat is kept underneath this settee. A diesel Onan Cummins generator and one of the greatest things about the 51 layout is that they gave you this fantastic access port to service the generator as well so you can get right in there where you need to and change in colors fluids belts things of that nature <laughs> And then underneath this one, it's just a really deep locker. It's a really good location for, it's a wet locker, so it's a good location for fenders, inflatables, spare lines, and electric windlass controls are right there for the electric windlass, which you can also access right here. And it has a manual override, as you can see, uh, just in case you would ever need it. I didn't mention it before, but similarly with the hydraulic swim platform, there's also a manual override for that in the engine compartment. May you never need it, but yeah, of course it's nice to have that kind of redundancy just in case. Okay, ah, engine compartments. 